Hey everybody, I'm going to take a first look at Ubuntu 13.04 uh, running Ringtail. Uh, there's a daily build beta, beta 2, which is still available at the URL right here. And uh, this is going to be released later this week, so I decided now is a pretty good time to take a quick uh, look over some of the new features and uh, some of the items I like, some of the items I don't like. Um, there's a few things you need to set up by default if you want to. So one of the first places you're going to want to go into the system settings, go into privacy, either turn on or uh, it's on by default still. And this is the uh, Amazon search results. So if I do a search for Tron, you'll see the um, music that I have pre-installed as well as some search results, files and folders. Turn this back off and you've got no more um, search results from Amazon. Um, the nice thing is it seems that the uh, search results from Amazon are uh, independent from your computer search results. So now it's actually pretty quick to um, search for files. Now I'm using an i7 um, 2.3 gigahertz uh, quad core machine with hyper threading. So it's pretty quick. It's got an, a uh, SSD on here. So let's open up a few applications. You can see it's uh, got some nice little um, resize applications. Now by default you can't go through the different workspaces. You'll have to turn that on by default. So let's take a quick look at the settings for that. Um, that's under appearance, behavior, enable workspaces, and uh, show desktop icon in the launcher if you want it. I rarely use it, so I'll enable the workspaces. Now, if you hold down the super key, you'll get your keyboard shortcuts. When workspace is enabled, it uh, shows you the workspace shortcuts. So, if you're installing this on a computer where somebody might get uh, a little confused by the uh, multiple workspaces, um, that's one good way to uh, either turn it on and off. All right, what else we got? I've already added some uh, widgets here. So I've got YouTube and Tumblr set up, which will automatically go to my Tumblr account. And I can check some stuff out. Let's see here. YouTube will go to my YouTube tab. Let's see what happens if I pin this tab. What does it? it used to give me an um, OMG Ubuntu option for installing, but for some reason it's not working today. All right. And of course, this is in the launcher by default. I'm not logged into my account right now. But if I was to purchase something, um, Amazon would know that you're running Ubuntu and theoretically give money back to Canonical. Let's remove that. The Ubuntu One Music Store. It's decent. Um, they really need to uh, revamp it a bit. Ubuntu One, which I use, and Dropbox, which I installed separately. What else do we got? There's a little bit of screen artifacting there, but that might be because I'm recording. So you can tell Ubuntu One is keeping this thing um, in order, or this uh, folder in order here. going to mute some music so I don't get in trouble, but I'm going to uh, show you guys the uh, menus here. This is using Kazam. I downloaded that extra. Uh, Ubuntu One notifying me that there's some updates on Tumblr, which is kind of cool. All right, now it's playing um, my Tron album there. Of course, I've got it muted, so you can't see that. what it would play on Tron, on YouTube if I don't have a page open, but I guess I can control it through there. 
Um, what else do we got? actually pretty good so far. If I had my hmm, my online account set up. Oh, that's right. If I had a uh, Bluetooth enabled, I could also enable that here. Let's see, it should be somewhere around here. I think I have my Bluetooth turned off, so it's not showing up. Let me try turning it on really quick. Nope, I just turned off my Wi-Fi. Not that I need it or anything. Here we go. Turned on Bluetooth. So you can turn on and off through there. It's kind of cool. Um, definitely the biggest improvement is the fact that the dash is now moving at uh, full speed, which is awesome. Oh, that's cool. So I could select music from here if I wanted to. Photos, which I have nothing, and a few screencasts. So I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to look at it a little bit longer and uh, see what is. Sorry. I, uh, see if it's worth keeping installed. And um, definitely run several updates while it's still in beta, of course. Uh, Thursday or Friday, depending on where you're at, is when it gets released. So, oops. So that's uh, a quick rollover first impressions review. Thanks for watching. Um, once I've played with this a little bit more, I'll see uh, um, what kind of cool stuff I can do with it. Maybe I'll uh, keep it on here instead of using Manjaro because it really does feel uh, snappy. Anyway, take it easy, everyone.